you want to say or do something, but something makes you hesitate or stop. That changes now. All of us have had moments where fear or anxiety took a hold of us, stopping us doing something we really wanted to or felt was worthwhile. The problem is you feel the urge to take action, but the moment the time comes to fulfill on the promise you made yourself, you stop and take a step back. In this video, we look to help you make the final step and take action instead of letting fear or anxiety stop you. Before we look into how to overcome fear, we need to understand what fear is itself. Fear is a natural response our body has to perceived threats. It will change brain and organ function and will naturally lead us to instinctive responses to a given situation. This might be to fight, it might be to run, and often it can overwhelm us to make us freeze. The purpose of these instincts were traditionally to help humans survive as a species. In the wild, our reactions to threats is what allowed our growth as a species. However, in the modern world, the perceived fears and anxieties we get is often more prohibitive than beneficial as a perceived threat is usually not life-threatening or even damaging. So, knowing that our fear is holding us back, how do we overcome these obstacles? The first step to overcome fear is to acknowledge and face the fear. When confronted with a situation that makes us afraid, we naturally have a tendency to want to run from the situation. This isn't abnormal, it is simply how our brain is wired to react. Therefore, it is vital to overcome fear by acknowledging what makes you afraid to begin with and then try to expose yourself to it. A good example of this is Batman in the film Batman Begins. Bruce Wayne has a fear of bats, but in order to fulfill his mission to become the Dark Knight, he confronts his fears by allowing himself to be enveloped by his worst fear. It's through this confrontation he finds his true self and gains strength. Understanding how you react when faced with a fear is the first step to preventing this from stopping you from carrying out a task at hand. For every symptom, you can take action to counteract the feeling and take control of the situation. For example, if you feel a shortness of breath, then it is important to focus on your breathing and take deep, relaxing breaths. This will calm any nerves you feel and will often help you relax and think things through rationally. You want to speak in public but lack confidence to speak in front of an audience. In that moment you're about to take the stage, you think of the worst possible outcome. People might laugh, you might fall as you head out, or worst of all, you go to speak, your mind goes blank and you forget everything in the heat of the moment. The truth is, fear often overwhelms us because we imagine the worst possible scenarios. However, what might seem your worst nightmare isn't actually that bad. It's important to think through the scenario fully to help you relax. People might laugh at you as you make a mistake, but beyond the joy they have in that fleeting moment, it will be forgotten and everyone, including you, will move on with life. It's not the end, and if it's a failure, then it's a moment of growth. Les Brown, one of the greatest motivational speakers of all time, said how the first time he took the stage in public, the worst happened and he was laughed off the stage. He persevered and continued to take the stage as he grew older. Each time he would improve little at a time. Eventually, the boy who was laughed off stage became the man who would touch millions of lives and leave a legacy for you do. Many see fear as something they should avoid, but fear can be a gift to make you value life itself. Rather than running away when faced with our fears, running towards them can actually help us feel the greatest joys in life. You see that person you want to talk to, but never had the courage to face. Most 
when faced with this situation, let the chance pass by. But by taking the chance and actively speaking to the person, you may find the greatest joy life has to offer. Embracing your fears helps you experience life itself, as in that instant of a moment, you let yourself react instinctively without the endless thoughts preventing you from pushing on. Fear or anxiety is the biggest war we face in life when trying to live out our dreams. Children often speak openly without hesitation about the dreams that they have as they grow older. However, as they experience challenges and pain in life, most will put aside their dream because they're afraid of failing, accepting a life they don't want to lead. It takes incredible strength and courage to overcome fears, but understanding the opportunities of doing so may give you the opportunity to live the life you dreamed of when young. Life is a gift we are blessed to have, and having overcome all of the odds to be here now alone makes it worth taking a chance to live the life you want to. Fear is usually a construct of the mind that when broken can allow you to live your dreams. Take your fears head on and don't let yourself stop until you succeed. By doing so, you will feel satisfaction if you have the joy of experiencing. If you have any other suggestions of dealing with fear and anxiety, please share them in the comments section below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave us a thumbs up and of course support the channel by subscribing.